Hello and welcome back. Today we're doing a bit of Christmas wrapping on the chop saw. And I promise you this is the absolute last Christmas film you'll see from me this year. So let's crack on. First of all, for our Christmas wrapping, we need a bit of MDF or pine or plywood or anything you've got to hand. Fine, I mark it out as so. Nothing special, about an inch at the ends. Do the same at the top. For the tops and mirror representation at the bottom. There we go. Great. Now onto the chop saw. Great. Let's do some Christmas wrapping on the chop saw. You might have seen this the other day. My dearest and nearest, Lindsay, my long suffering girlfriend of 22 years, has bought me for Christmas present. So I've got to put it to good use and make her some. Yeah, these are the best kind of projects, the ones that keep the domestic authorities happy. Back on. Right, I'll cut all these. Wait, right, six degrees. And I'll show you what we've got then. On the last cut now, this laser makes it look really easy for lining up. I'm happy with that. I think we cut that out of the jigsaw now. And we'll be there. Nearly at the end now, no worries. A bit of jiggery pork with us. I've got a great joke for you though. I did tell the difference between snowmen and snowwomen. Snowballs. There you go. <laughs> anyway, get on with it. Just a little bit of cleaning up now. So look a bit more sanding and then uh, my Christmas wrapping's done. Yeah. Oh you can't believe it. This one's an MDF. I made one early in pine as well. There you go. So yeah. Ready for some Christmas wrapping now. The Christmas wrapping being a cable tidy to keep or your Christmas tree lights, you've just pulled off your Christmas tree nice and tidy for next year there you go, so if you want to get some brownie points and some hugs and, hugs and kisses I suggest you go and make one hope you enjoyed that yes, Christmas wrapping, you didn't expect that one did you? thanks for viewing <sighs>